Concealed carry on college campuses just needs the governor's signature to become law. And even though he's expected to sign, several folks are still trying to stop that from happening. Concealed carry on college campuses is a signature away from becoming law, which would allow people with a concealed carry license and training to carry firearms at colleges, some bars, and many state buildings. With Governor Asa Hutchinson expected to sign House Bill 1249, critics at a legislative forum in Fayetteville are speaking out about their safety concerns, especially those who live near the University of Arkansas. Every Thursday night, fraternity boys come filing in and out of parties drunk. And this law will give them a right to carry guns drunk. Do you think that's really the best idea? Because I don't want to be in a dangerous environment where I live. Supporters, like the bill's author, Representative Charlie Collins, say this bill will allow students and staff to defend themselves in active shooter type situations. Several opponents in the crowd say they send their kids to an on campus child care center where students babysit their kids. They argue that guns and kids don't mix. Basic gun safety does not involve having 21 year olds with limited amounts of training hanging out on the floor with toddlers and babies and a loaded weapon. Lawmakers who supported the bill, like Representative Jeff Williams of Springdale, say there are also a lot of people who want this bill to become law. In my district is a pretty, pretty strong uh, conservative, uh, you know, I'll call it, if you want to call it, uh, pro-Second Amendment uh, crowd there. Fayetteville Representative Charlie Collins, the bill's sponsor, was not there. He says he had to vote on the Lee King bill in Little Rock. We also know three of Fayetteville's representatives were also not able to make it.